A chainsaw bar, what the chain goes around on a chainsaw, dried blood spatter and bleach. Chilling new details in a Craigslist deal gone horribly wrong. It ended with the bodies of two men found at the bottom of a metro pond. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jolene Cheney. And I'm Kevin Ogle. Four people now charged in connection to the murder. And a warning here, this story contains graphic detail. News Force Bill Miston has more on this, uh, these grisly items here, Bill, uncovered by police. Joe and Kevin, police say the crime started in Moore and ended in Oklahoma City. Now court records from Cleveland County all the way up to Oklahoma County shedding light on what happened and what police have found so far. Officers found out on the ground of this property near Northeast 50th and Sooner Road last Wednesday, searching for clues surrounding the deaths of these two men, 21-year-old Elize Smith and 21-year-old Jerron Moreland. Their bodies found in a pond on the property as family members watched on. We're just glad that we get some closure and we yes, found Lord, thank they you, found Jesus. the bodies. Just closing and just closing the Lord. We needed, this. we needed this. This all began Saturday, April 14th. Police believe the two men went to this Crest Foods parking lot in the 1300 block of Northeastern in Moore to sell a gun to these two men, 16-year-old Brett Boatler and his brother Kevin Garcia Boatler. There was uh, apparently going to be a, a sell of a gun, possibly off of Craigslist, when the two uh, victims entered the, the vehicle. Uh, the suspects claimed they heard uh, a gun being racked or, or cocked. According to court documents, Brett Butler turned around in the van and fired four shots at Smith and Moreland, killing them. The brothers then sped off. Days later, police traced Brett Butler's cell phone to the Sooner Road property. The two, along with their mother, Crystal Butler, and her boyfriend, Johnny Shane Barker, were arrested. More police not commenting on the case at this time, but a search warrant filed in Oklahoma County Thursday details what police found when searching the property. The suspect van's interior ripped out, blood spatter on the van's ceiling, cleaning products along with a chainsaw bar, jigsaw blades, and other tools soaking in a bucket of water. Moreland and Smith's bodies were found in a pond weighed down with cinder blocks and chains. According to court documents, it was found the bodies had been dismembered. Now, all four were charged on Wednesday. Boatler is facing multiple charges, including two counts of second-degree murder and desecration of a corpse. Barker is charged with felony accessory to murder and desecration of a corpse. Garcia Boatler charged with accessory to murder and unlawful removal of a body. Those brothers' mother, Crystal Boatler, is also charged with accessory to murder. Court dates for the four have not yet been set. This is funny. I always hear millennials talk about how things were before the civil rights era and how integration or what we think of as integration and civil rights actually ruined our lives and ruined our community because things were better before civil rights and black folks were much better off before civil rights which is absolutely asinine and stupid on its face because why would black folks fight against being in a better position and i ain't seen nobody that's lived through that era actually begging to go back to what it was even 60 years later and i yeah my parents are still alive and they lived through all this kind of stuff to be that as it may you look at a story like this one about two black guys coming up missing and being their bodies being chopped up and thrown in a pond never to be seen again and I always said that when you look at lynching lynching was white people's way of making a statement where the body could be found as a warning to everybody else most black guys and most black men that were killed in that era were never found just like these two bodies were never supposed to be found the only difference between now and then pre-civil rights and after civil rights is that the cops were actually arresting people for actually killing these two guys before 1960 that would have never happened those guys would have walked free we have so many stories about black men being killed and being dismembered or, or in their bodies being found and nothing's done to the killer that was common back then you would, in oklahoma you would have had to, that mother would have had to cry for years just to get somebody to actually go after these guys and knowing who the killer was 
because it was almost legal to kill black men. And this is what millennials want to go back to. You're upset. Rightfully so. You're upset. You're outraged that two white men could three white men could actually kill two black men, cut up their bodies and throw them in a lake. And I think that's OK. You're actually right to be outraged. But this is also should be a lesson to you about how it used to be back then. And this is why you had a civil rights movement. And this is why you had a basically accepted, not wanted, but accepted integration. Not because it was the end all to be all, because it was far superior to the position you were in before. That now you at least have a legal remedy when something happens to you. It doesn't prevent it from happening to you. But now you have a remedy. You remember those little four little girls that had the church blown up with them in it and killing four little girls? You took the FBI to come down and investigate those people instead of the local law enforcement because black people didn't have any rights. You didn't have equal protection under the law, which is what you fought for. It wasn't just voting rights. It wasn't just to sit next to some freaking cracker in his restaurant, even though you guys are upset that you can't sit in Starbucks and drink a coffee or work out in the gym. You guys are upset about that. Now, that's important nowadays because it's so normalized. Now, back then, OK, it wasn't normalized. But now you guys uh, get upset over things, things that are normal that you think you should have when that's something that black folks back then, boomers especially, made normal for you. Now, you want to give all that up and go back to what it was? Go ahead and do it with my blessings. Go back to the eating the, the trashy food, living in rundown housing, them pumping in poor water into your neighborhood. You think you think Detroit, uh, Flint, Michigan was bad as far as water is concerned. That was typical back then because they had control of the pipes and the infrastructure and they gave you what was left. Your grocery store didn't get fresh food. You got the old food from the old grocery stores and it was passed down to you. That was typical. It's not what it is now where you get equal protection under the law and you have a remedy for wrongs done to you. But if you want to give that up, if you want to go back to the way it was, take it with my blessings. But I just want you to know this is typical of what used to happen to black men. The only difference is that you never used to hear about it. You would just be disappeared and nobody hear from you again. And nobody would go looking for you, even though they would know who did it and where the bodies were. The old folks can tell you tons of stories about something like this happening all the time. But if that's what you want to go back to, and this is the kind of America you want to live in again, take it with my blessings. Because personally, I know what it was and I know where we came from. And this is I, this is much preferable to where it was. It ain't perfect. White folks will never be perfect. They're never going to like us. They're never going to like being integrated with us. It is what it is. But I much prefer it now than it was back then. And I think you should too. But with that, I'm going to jump off of here. Just BGS out and I will see you guys on the next one.